<laughs> Yo. What the hell, man? Every time. It's too awkward to start this damn camera up and start filming. It's impossible. Okay, I am going to make watermelon juice. Found some organic watermelons from Mexico. Thank you, Mexico. Because there ain't no fruit in Toronto. Okay, I think I'm going to set it up up here. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just want to show you the best way to slice it, to juice it. The easiest way. Then I'll talk about why I'm doing this. Okay, so you s cut it in half. That is the best thing. I should have talked about how to pick a ripe one, but you always want to look for that yellow spot. The darker the better. That means it's been sitting on the ground, allowed to ripen up on the vine. There's, um, Don't tap it. That's like the stupidest thing. Uh, what else? This stem should be brown and hard. If you got like a perfectly green stem, that's no good. Uh, there's a couple other tricks I forget, but if I think of them, I'll let you know. Okay, so can you still see this? So this looks like a pretty decent one. If you wanted, you could just grab a spoon, start eating that, just like its own bowl. But I'm going to juice it. So you just kind of slice off the end. Okay, then you flip it over and then just slice. Slice down, try to go as close to the green as possible. You could, some people do juice this, the rind. They leave it on, I don't know. Maybe I'll try that for my next one, but it just seems weird to me. Like, you never eat the rind. Why would you juice it? I'm sure there's nutrients in it, and maybe it even tastes good, but I don't know. You try it. Let me know how that goes. Okay, then you compost these. That was me pretending to compost. And then you want to kind of just slice it into, it depends how big your juicer is. That's the whole thing. The opening for mine is pretty small, so I got to keep it about that size. But maybe you have a wide mouth juicer and you don't have to cut it up this small. And then just turn it. Same thing. This seems to be the easiest. Once once this is all cut out, then it's just so easy to put through the juicer. And that should be good. Alright, so you don't need to watch me juice at all, but that's that's ready to go. That was the main thing, so I'll be back in a bit. And with the other half, just some saran wrap. Oh, that was ghetto. Just cover that up. Throw that in the fridge for tomorrow's juice. Okay, just in case you've never seen a juicer before, take your chunk, throw it in there. Wow, isn't that amazing? Oh, this is impossible to do.
pulp starts coming out. Switch it back. Yum, yum. Liquid gold. So, that's what we get. Two full liters of juice for just one half melon. Not bad. It's obviously one of the higher water content foods, watermelon, so you're going to get a lot of juice for your buck. Oranges are pretty good too. I got a bunch of apples in the fridge, but apples do not yield much juice. It's kind of a waste of time, really, but I have them left over. I'm going to make some apple juice later. Uh, so, I just want to update what I've been doing. I'm on day six now of a kind of cleanse, like just juices, water. I started two day water fast. Uh, at the end of the second day, I wasn't feeling that great and I was hungry and so I had some coconut water to kind of break the water fast. Which isn't bad, you know, like a water fast is the ideal detox, like it's top of the mountain, but still coconut water is pretty good and hydrating and delicious and still very cleansing, so I did that. Then the next day was just coconut water and water all day, and then I was craving a vegetable juice. You know if you're craving vegetable juice, go do that. That's a good craving to have. So, I juiced a whole bunch of celery, cucumber, parsley, lime. Delicious. Hit the spot. So, I've been doing that. Coconut water, water, and vegetable juice for the next few days. And yesterday I added in some fruit juice. I juiced a little tiny mini watermelon. And it was so good, I had to go get a whole bunch more big ones. So... And I feel pretty good, like, so many benefits, like, it's just, it's so nice to not have food in your stomach, it really, it's hard to describe until you actually feel it, that you're empty, it's just such a nice, quiet feeling, it's, it's really nice, and I had tons of energy, like, yesterday I went to go bike up to get these watermelons and stuff, and it's a pretty decent bike ride and I was walking around the mall and stuff looking for boots and I had tons of energy on a little mini watermelon juice like you don't need a ton of food to energize yourself a lot of people overeat and that's it's one of the biggest contributors to disease is not only eating the wrong foods but overeating even good foods like if you're not super active, there's no reason you need to eat 15 bananas in a meal. Like, it's too much. Or, like, six big potatoes at night when you're not, like, out running miles and miles. And So, you need more vegetables to get those minerals and stuff. Like, a decent amount of fruit to keep your weight on. And lots of vegetables to just rebuild your body so uh, what else I think that's about it that's just what I'm doing I felt a need to kick it up a notch and just cleanse I haven't ever done a juice fast longer than three days and they're always so beneficial so that's what I'm gonna do for as long as I can really I got the watermelons now nice organic ones. They're not that ripe, to be honest with you, but that's another trick. Whenever you get a, a watermelon that isn't that ripe, just juice them up. And they taste much better. They really do. Because eating it, it's like, oh my god, sometimes they taste like a cucumber. There's like no sugar in them. So, that's what I'm doing. Cleanse, detox, do it up. It's fun, it's beneficial, my skin is clearing. So many great things are happening in my body, just not eating. It's great. So, that is all.